These ogres have been terrorizing the area. They've eaten four children this week alone. Oh my god. I'm just trying to build some um, holes here. You know, my bank is getting really full and I have a lot of these junk items like steel square shields and green dragon hide. Like, I totally want to get rid of blue dragon hide, uh, green dragon hide, just a bunch of stupid items. I have like 50 of those and it would be so nice to get that bank space again you know this is what i'm talking about i need a mithril chain body to make one of them no maybe like a week ago i had 250 super restores and now i am down to 48 because i ran out of prayer potions as well i was using super restores as um just killing hellhounds you know killing hellhounds use super restores as a prayer to get prayer back and the whole thing about just do the boss tasks and afk the rest of them was not really sustainable i just kept running out of runners and snapdragons until now i i can barely do slayer now so i need to get back on track and um by the way this was not uh, like a meme or anything like my block list like this is my legit block list believe it or not like i know neck rails are so profitable and there's like smoke devils you can just burst them but I, all i wanted from slayer was to afk and none of these tasks are afkable except for gargoyles but because those have like really huge wings you can't afk them properly so i think what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna unblock neck rails i'm gonna unblock smoke devils and just pretty much almost everything. Abyssal Demons and Dust Devils. And I'm going to leave these two for now. So I'm going to have uh, a new block list. The reason why I'm doing this is because of those... Because uh, Neck Rails, when you're killing them, you're getting loads of seeds. And since I have the Magic Cape, I can just swap Spellbooks. So there is no problem. Oh, getting Neck Rail task? Oh, that's not a problem. Well, the first thing that I have to do is to buy some runes. I got my protection here, but I'm still thinking that somebody made Gmall spec me. So I think every time I'm going to be buying runes, I'm just going to trade this Mage of Zamorak. Someone's buying them. Okay, okay. This is usually a more quiet place, and you can have 500 death runes in one uh, place, as opposed to 250 everywhere else. And it's usually bought out. Like, if you go to Mage uh, Guild, yeah, it's usually just less than 200. Wait, how much? What, what's the price? 200? Oh my god, it's way too pricey though. Yeah, I'm actually... Wait a minute, how much is one... Uh, 22 death runes, you're kidding me. But it's only 221 GP as opposed to 280 that is in Wilderness. So this is cheaper, but as you can clearly see, people are buying this out. I eventually switched to Varrock because nobody was buying death runes in here. And they're similar price to Mages Guild. So, But yeah, we finished 10,000 bursts is what I have. I don't want to, you know, keep buying them. I just kind of wanted to buy a lot of them so I don't have to go back to the shop. But it cost me like 7.2 million. I had green cash tag. I had 12.7 mil. It's gone. How are you like that? A dragon axe on the floor. It's been a while since I got one. Actually, it's been like six rings. Like, I, I only have like one or two dragon axes in the bank. So, something new here. Oh, and you may have noticed that I'm using a crystal bow in this place. Which is, by the way, absolutely terrible. There's usually... Look, the Supreme is about to spawn. And uh, by the time I kill Prime... I don't even have to kill it. Rex will be spawned as well. Because that's how slow it is. And I'm using the prayer as well. Well, I just don't have any scales left on my blowpipe. I don't feel like killing Zelda at the moment. Oh, another one. Another one. Thank you very much. Yes, boy. Oh, I didn't spend too much time in here. <laughs> Maybe 15 kills or so before I get a Tanzanite Fang. Obviously, this one is going to be dismantled. 20,000 Zalra scales. Now I can instantly charge. This was at like... Oh my god, it used so many though. How many does it use? Like 14k or something? 16k to fully charge this thing. Like, Well, at least it's at 100% now. And I will do the same for the helmet. And I ran out of scales. And it's only at 58%. So that one thing wasn't even enough to charge two items fully. And I also have a trident, which is at like a thousand. It's like a thousand charges. This one doesn't require that many. I think it's 4,000 for a completely full one. After I finished Dagonoth task, I got a Jad task. And then I realized I really need to get the scales. That's why I went to Zalra. And now this is finished. And I get no pet. 
Just finished my Vetifiz Dust Devil task. As you can see, I was not doing too well. My inventory is full with super distors, and I don't think you're supposed to be taking mage bonus in here. You just take something like uh, monk robes for prayer bonus, as you, you get accuracy anyway, it doesn't matter. But one thing I really want to fix is uh, when you get on Ancients, there is no way to get to current catacombs. How do you get there? You know, I tried to teleport, obviously I'm on Ancients, I cannot cast a spell. So I had to teleport to Karen House and then walk all the way, look at how far it is, all the way to Karen, it's not convenient at all. But there is a way to fix that. I need to get all favored in Zia. So I'm only missing one, which is Lova Kench, and uh, I don't know how to get it, it's... Um, it's very mysterious to me. I never tried on any of my accounts. I already hate this place. You see these clouds are attacking you. They, you can't even click on them. You can't really do anything. You just have to kind of move away. And you have to wear like a face mask in here. And I've been mining for 35 minutes now. And my favor is at close to 30%. So I'm going to move to different things. You can make some armor or something like that. But I don't like it. It's AFK. Like You can just AFK. It's kind of like mining pure essence. That's cool, but those clouds kind of mess you up. All right, so I made these bars now, but I have a feeling that I will be getting less favored. I, it took me half an hour to make all of these 97 Lovakite bars. So let's see how much favor I can get. I got some supplies for you, and I got how much? 6% favor? For, for spending half an hour. It's the same amount that I spent mining those rocks and I got 30% instead. This is so bad. I could have just mined the rocks and I could have had like 60% by now. Oh my god, this is terrible. It's just weird. It, it makes no sense at all because you can mine these from 0% favor. This is where you come from the very beginning and they give like 5 times more favor than something new that you unlock at level 30% favor. It's supposed to be like a new method that gives you so much favor. Turns out it's complete. It's bad. It just makes no sense, Jagex. And this is what happens when you AFK. Good thing I had Ring of Life on. Otherwise, I would be dead. How, how bad would it be for me to die from a rock? All I need to do now is talk to this guy. And I will have 100% in all houses. And what this will do, if I rub this talisman, I will be able to teleport to heart. Now, if I try to do this now, you must complete the architecture alliance before I can go there and that means if I go on any spellbook ancients lunars whatever I can still teleport so let's say I'm just chilling in Lumbridge and I can just teleport right there in near the statue just like teleport would take you to and I can just go down and boom very nice finally Okay, wow. <clears throat> I actually thought I got a an abyssal dagger from this guy, but that was a black sword. And it, I just had too many purple texts, so I assumed... Damn, this was actually a very nice task. I kind of love bursting now. I managed to get 43k Slayer experience an hour. And this was quite annoying because these abyssal demons just teleport around. And there are not that many in one room. So it wasn't the best like compared to Dust Devils. This is really... I still liked it. Still a lot of experience. Got two superiors. Got like one and a half uh, totem. Well, since I got that hard clue from Abyssal Demon, I can now get a master clue. Well, this didn't last for too long. I need an Inferno Axe, which I don't have, and it's very hard to obtain. I do have Slayer level to kill Cerberus, but I am not killing that thing. Haha, <laughs> what is this? Your new task is to kill Callisto. How many? I'm gonna go with 35, you know why? Because I'm canceling this task. Like, this is the very first boss task that I got in like three days. And this is what I get, Callisto. You don't get too many of them. You don't get too many boss tasks. So that's why you're seeing all these Slayer videos, even though my intentions are to kill bosses, but I, I end up just making a Slayer video. Hey, Tazar. Right, so let's go. Let's complete the caves. Uh, I'm quite deep now, actually. I am on wave 50. Whoa, that's actually very nice. Uh, as you can see, I'm uh, taking uh, my new inventory of monkfish. I remember when I took full inventory of sharks, for some reason people called me cocky because I was not taking any brews. Like, just take some brews, just in case. I'm taking monkfish because since I got a Sada God Sword, I don't need food in here at all. Like, I eat two monkfish maximum. And uh, the only reason why I eat those monkfish is because I need to eat to full before jad spawn. The way I treat fight caves is not like a, oh my god, it's a jad task. For me, it's like, oh my god, it's these stupid monsters that I have to kill. Regular monsters, nothing special about them. Look. 
360. Oh my, oh, it's so powerful. You can just pray against it. And it's like the easiest monster in the world. Or this guy just gets stuck. Like, the, how stupid are these things, you know? It's nothing hard about these. That's the way I look at it. Look at this. N not a single monkfish. Not, not a single monkfish in the whole caves. I know my setup now. I, I know it. Okay, so we got we didn't get the pet. Yes, I know you're not lucky, of course. Uh, wait, before I go, let me show you. Look, I'm 157k away from 95. I cannot believe this. I can't believe that I'm training Slayer past 93. But it feels good. Cannon plus bursting, amazing experience rates. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.